Hi, this is Kent Graziano with Snowflake Computing, and today I'm going to show you how to connect Oracle SQL Developer Data Modeler to your Snowflake database. Now you might wonder why would you connect a data modeling tool to your Snowflake database? Well, if you've already deployed part of your data warehouse, you may simply want to reverse engineer the existing tables in your data warehouse into a nice data model diagram for documentation that you can share with the rest of the team. Or perhaps you're in a second phase and you want to re-engineer that data warehouse design and SQL Developer Data Modeler is an excellent tool for reverse engineering a design, modifying the design, and then generating the new DDL to make changes for your future iteration. So let's get started and see how we connect up Snowflake and Data Modeler. First off, we go under the Data Modeler menu and find Preferences. Once in Preferences, we're going to drill down into Data Modeler and then click on third-party JDBC tools. And here you can see that I have the Snowflake JDBC jar file already installed in my Data Modeler. Now you should, of course, have already downloaded this from the Snowflake UI and be ready to connect it up to Data Modeler. To do the connection, we simply hit the Add sign navigate through, find our JDBC driver, and then save it. And then so once we say OK, we've now registered the existence of that JDBC driver with the data modeling tool. Now to use it, we're going to go to File, Import, and then Data Dictionary. And in here, I'm going to add a new database connection going to call it JDBC Demo and put in my credentials for my account in Snowflake. Say password and then over here I'm going to click on the JDBC tab and then put in my JDBC URL. One thing you should know in the URL is make sure you have this parameter in there, role equals, and use a role assigned to your user in your Snowflake database. And this will help restrict what you see when you're doing your reverse engineering. So if you have a very, very large system, you don't want to try to reverse engineer thousands and thousands of tables at once. Uh, hopefully you've designed your warehouse where different roles have access to different schemas and a smaller subset of the data. And if this is the case, you'll want to put this role in here. And in my case, it's Data Vault Owner. Your role name will be whatever it is you've set up in your user account. Next, we need to add in the driver class so we can connect. And that is com.snowflake.client.jdbc. Snowflake driver. And once that's all in there, we should be able to hit the test button here and see that our connection works. And it should be coming back any second now. And there we go, success. We've managed to effectively connect data modeler now to our Snowflake database. Now, of course, I want to hit save here so I don't lose this connection that we just created. And then I'm going to hit cancel to back out of the window. And now we see here in the connection name is my JDD, JDBC demo connector is there. Now I hit next. And here we're going to go again and connect to the database. And it's now out there, and it found a bunch of schemas out here in my database. I'm going to sort on schema so I can find the one I'm looking for, which is my Data Vault main schema. Hit Next, and I'll see a list of tables available to my user in that schema. Here we see I've got two tables available. I'm going to select both of those, Hub Region and Sat Region. And then I hit next, so 
says it's going to import two tables. And then I hit finish. And now it's going to generate the design from those two tables into a data model diagram. And here we can see the generate design bar is progressing as it's gathering the metadata from the Snowflake database to put into the data modeler repository. And here we have our results, a little view log showing us that we imported uh, two objects. So I'm just going to close that and we can take a look. Now we see our, our diagram here where I've built these two tables in my data warehouse, able to reverse engineer them into the diagram. And then I can very quickly just add a, uh, a legend to this diagram and hit save and I am good to go complete with primary keys and foreign keys all reverse engineered into Oracle SQL developer data modeler from your snowflake database well that's it for this video I hope you find it helpful in your data warehouse modeling efforts <music>